Hi guys, welcome to our comprehensive introduction to Encloth in Autodesk Maya. In this video, we'll dive into the basics of Encloth, a powerful simulation tool for creating realistic cloth and fabric animations. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refresh your skills, this tutorial will guide you through a basic knowledge about Encloth and to incorporate dynamic cloth simulations into your own projects. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. I have this table model which I created earlier, and on top of this model, I will create a table cloth. Let's take a plane over here. Then scale it up quite big. Let's keep it 50 on each axis. Then select this mesh and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then move it on top of the table. I will reduce the scale of this plane to 30. Now select this plane, then by holding shift, right click, select smooth. And then I will increase the number of divisions to 3. Keep in mind, higher the number of divisions, the better will be the result of the simulation. However, don't go for too high, your system may not support, or else Maya might crash. Now then, let's simulate this mesh. At first, change this modeling tab into FX tab. Then by selecting the mesh, go to end cloth, then click on create end cloth. After that, select the rest of the models, then go to end cloth, and click on create passive collider. And now make sure your starting frame is set to 1. Then I will increase the number of frames. Let's keep it at 1000. And one important thing to keep in mind, make sure your cached playback toggle key is turned on. So that whatever simulation will happen, Maya will remember those, and you will not lose any of them. Now as you can see, a red line is increasing slowly on the time range. What's happening is, Maya is calculating the simulation, and creating a cache out of it. Now if you click on the play button, you will see the cloth will settle down beautifully, on top of the table, till the red line in the frame range. Beyond that, it will not create any simulation, since Maya hasn't done calculations for the full frame range. Now if you scrub on the timeline, you will see the simulation is still there, till the red line, and you can go to whatever frame you want. But if you turn off this button, and try to scrub on the timeline, you will see nothing will happen on the cloth. If you click on the play button, you can see the simulation will happen, and the cloth will drop on the table. However, as soon as you try to scrub on the timeline, everything will go back to their default positions. So turn on this cached playback toggle button, and then wait for some time, until this red line covers the full frame range. And now once Maya is done with calculating the simulations, you can click on play button, and stop it in whatever frame you want. Another setting you can adjust for the cloth simulation. Go to first frame to keep it in default position. Then select this end cloth mesh, and go to attribute editor. From here, select end cloth shape 1. And under this, you can find some presets like, chiffon, heavy denim, silk, etc. which you can select. And accordingly, Maya will calculate the simulation as per the selected preset. So I selected silk from the presets, and for this reason the cloth will simulate as per silk material. Whatever material you will select from the presets, the cloth will simulate as per that particular material. Now you can scrub on the timeline, and see which frame you like the most. And then you can select the cloth and press Ctrl D to duplicate it.
After that, you can delete the simulated mesh, if you don't need that one anymore. Now bring back this mesh to its original position. And then I will apply extrude on it, to give some thickness to the cloth. And this is how you can create a simple tablecloth using Maya's Encloth simulation system. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.